Magandang buhay mga bata. I am Teacher Mary Carnickdal, your math teacher. Today's lesson is all about dissimilar fractions. Let's start our lesson with a story problem. Gary and Shira visited an orphanage. They brought a tray of biko each and shared some slices with the orphans. Gary divided his biko into nine and shared seven slices to the orphans, while Shira divided her biko into ten and shared nine slices with the orphan. What can you say about the given fractions? Do they have the same denominators? Yes, they don't have the same denominator. We call these fractions as the similar fractions. The similar fractions are fractions whose denominators are different. Example, one-third, three-fourth, one-half, two-fifth. Look at the denominator of the given fractions. They are different from each other. Let's try another story problem. Mother served one whole bibingka to her children. Nathan ate three-fourths of it, while Nina ate one-a-half of it. Who ate more? Looking at the shaded part, Nathan eats more than Nina. Three-fourths and one-half are called the similar fractions. They are fractions with different denominators. This time, let's try to check if you really understand the similar fraction. Tell me if the given fifth are the similar fractions. Are the given set of fractions dissimilar? Yes. Are the given set of fractions dissimilar? Yes, because their denominators, if we write their fractions, will have different numbers. How about this set? Are the given set of fractions dissimilar? Very good. It's a no. Because if we write the fractions, all the denominators are 4. How about for the set? Very good. They are the similar fractions. How about for the set? Very good. They are not the similar fraction since all the denominator will be number 8. Let's try another activity. I'll be showing you two fractions. Tell me if they are the similar or not. First, two-fifth and one-fifth. Are they the similar fraction? They're not. How about 3 ninth and 2 seventh? Are they the similar fraction? Yes. How about 6 fifth and 5 sixths? Are they the similar fraction? Yes. 4 eighths and 6 ninths, are they the similar fraction? Yes. Lastly, we have one-third and three-thirds. 
Are they the similar fractions? They're not. So, how do we compare the similar fractions? I have here two sets of fractions. We have 3 6 and 2 8. Which fraction has bigger shaded or colored parts? Looking at the figures, 3 6 is bigger than 2 8. Therefore, we can say that 3 6 is greater than 2 8. We can also compare the similar fractions through cross multiplication technique. First, we multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. 3 times 8 is 24. Then, we multiply the denominator of the first fraction to the numerator of the second fraction. 6 times 2 is 12. Since 24 is bigger than 12, 3 sixths is greater than 2 eighths. Let's try some more. 4 times 7 is 28. 10 times 2 is 12, which is bigger. Very good. It's 4 tenths. Let's try one more. 1 twentieth and 3 fourths. Which is bigger? First, let's multiply 1 and 4. The product is 4. 20 times 3 is 60, which is bigger. 60 is bigger than 4. Therefore, 3 fourths is greater than 1 twentieth. Let's read this problem. Kathleen and her mother went to the market. She helped her in buying the following ingredients. 3 fourth kilogram of chicken, 1 half kilogram of sayote, 1 eight kilogram of ginger, and 1 fourth kilogram of onions. The given fractions are 3 fourths, 1 half, 1 eighth and 1 fourth. We can arrange the similar fraction in increasing or decreasing order. When we say increasing order, we arrange our fractions from the smallest to the biggest number. And if it's a decreasing order, we start from the biggest to the smallest number. I hope you learned something from this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you again.